Ghana's regions of the north are major producers of soya bean, accounting for about 90% of trades soya bean in the country. Every year when the budget is going to be prepared, they come and ask us for our input. And I was consistently putting in that there must be commercial farming for raw materials. As we are sitting that we don't know when we are supplying our next trade because we don't have some in the room again. We need our money to get 10 bags. That is what I just show you for now. So I don't know how it will take, how long it will take me to get even up to the system that are supplying. Our market has been open to um, foreigners to do anything that they want. They go to the farm gates to buy directly from the farmers. So we are actually um, short of supply to even run the operation. You don't starve your own country to feed other countries. You must make sure that your people are satisfied and the excess can be taken away. That's the fundamental principles. You don't starve your own house and then, and then feed the belly of other people outside. No, your people will be hungry. They won't be happy. I meet Matthew Menu Bunzu, a poultry farmer on his farm in the offensive south district of the Shanti region. With 15 workers, he has been working on this farm for the past three years. He tells me 2021 is turning out to be the worst year for the poultry industry. Had it not been that uh, there are a lot of people here who are like uh, workers and they are the daily livelihood depends on this farm i would have sold all the bets because one the profit margin is always coming down and then the prices of um, input basically the feed keeps going up and as i'm talking to you now it has not ceased it's still going up yeah. feed is a very critical element in the poultry industry without which farms cease to operate. Today, Matthew struggles to get poultry feed for his birds. We are not getting uh, maize. And even if you should get, the price that they cut is very high. And this business depends so much, about 60% of the feed is prepared with uh, maize and two Wheat bran is another commodity that we use to prepare the feed. I've placed an order and it's been two months now. I've not had the wheat bran. And the price of soya bean has more than doubled. So if you aggregate all these things together, you see that we are, we are, we are, we are, we are really suffering. But for the challenges this year, his warehouse has never been this empty. It is currently holding feed that cannot sustain the farm for the next month. Due to scarcity of feed, Matthew has reduced the feed ration for his beds. Right now, if you should go to my warehouse, my soybean is not up to 15. Previously, I could buy maize for a whole year so that uh, if there's any shock, we can rely on that maize. Right now, I don't even have up to one month stock. I could be as well, our grandma should do as well. There is a specific amount of feed the birds must take depending on the age. For instance, if the bird needs 120 grams to lay eggs and you give it 90 grams, then it will take more days to lay a few eggs. The birds eat twice, one for the body, and the excess is to lay eggs. So, if it requires 120 grams in a day and give it less than that, it means it might lay once in three days because it didn't get the food. Maize and soya bean constitute 95% of feed concentrate. Both commodities are in short supply in the country since the beginning of the year. As a result, the cost of maize has increased from 50 cities to more than 100 cities per 100 kg bag, while soya beans have seen more than 100% increase from last year till now. In the face of this, Matthew plans to sell more of his beds in order to stay afloat.
We had a bed population of uh, 48,000, but currently they have sold around 5,000 already, and I'm prepared to sell around 4,000 coming next uh, week or two in order to uh, sort of stay in business. These challenges faced by Matthew extends to many others in the poultry industry. So the impact of high cost of input in the poultry industry continues to impact a lot of farms severely. This and the other pen behind altogether more than 5,000 fowls were housed here. But because of the high cost of feed, owners of this farm have decided to sell the beds to stay in business. In 2020, the scarcity of maize on the market, for instance, compelled government to allow for the importation of the commodity into the country. Soya bean, which is 35% of feed concentrate, is now facing similar problem, but in a severe form. According to a 2012 research, the poultry industry alone demands about 75% of the total soya bean demanded annually in Ghana. Ghana's regions of the north are major producers of soya bean, accounting for about 90% of trades soya bean in the country. The soya beans are transported to processing factories in the south. So we head to the north to understand the magnitude of the situation. Our first stop is one of the communities that produce thousands of tons of soya bean for both industrial and local consumption. Zogu in the Savalugu district of the northern region is where we meet these young men on this 200 acre land. The season is over. They sold every soya bean on this land. <laughs> Farmers here are waiting for the rains to begin cultivating for the next season. Awal Abubakar is one of the farmers here. <laughs> Elsewhere in the district, we meet these farmers guarded under the unusual tree to discuss farming and other issues. Al Hassan Yakubu is one of the old farmers in this community who started soya bean farming in the year 2000. He sells to traders that come to the community to buy. Yakubu, for instance, is cultivating only six acres out of his 20 acre farm because he lacks the funds to expand. The farmers have noticed demand for soya bean has increased tremendously in recent months. While some are aware of the presence of new buyers, most of them are oblivious of who these people are. My, 
Our government in 2017 introduced its flagship agriculture industrialization program, Planting for Food and Jobs, meant to enhance production. With good farming policies and incentives, Ghana would end the disgraceful spectacle of importing foodstuffs from neighboring countries. To the millions of farmers in farming communities and villages in all parts of Ghana, I'm happy to inform you that planting for food and jobs is the basis of the answer to this tr twin problem with which you have been confronted in recent years. Soya Bean was one of them. The policy seemingly encouraged significant expansion of the area of land under cultivation. After initially supplying 180 and 339 metric tons of soya bean seed in 2017 and 2018 respectively, the platform of food and jobs supplied 2,729 metric tons in 2019 according to the 2020 records from the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. The average area cultivated increased from around 85,000 hectares in the years before planted for food and jobs to over 100,000 hectares after 2017. This is around 18% increase. Whereas average yields fluctuated around 1.6 to 1.7 metric tons per hectare between 2013 and 2016. The planting for food and jobs era saw yields rising only to between 1.7 and 1.8 metric tons per hectare. This remains well below what Ministry of Food and Agriculture in 2017 believed are achievable yields of 3.0 metric tons per hectare. Chairman of the Soya Value Chain Association of Ghana, Thomas Bello, confirms this impact. Every year when the budget is going to be prepared, they come and ask us for our input. And I was consistently putting in that there must be commercial farming for raw materials in Ghana, especially soya beans. Because most of us have put up plants with big capacities and we can't utilize them. I used to have 100 workers, but now where are they now? Because I don't have raw material to process. Luckily enough, a new government came in, they listened to what we were saying, and they came with a program called plenty for food and jobs. So, and it has worked so well because the government came in with uh, a lot of motivations in terms of subsidized inputs like planting seeds, uh, fertilizers, and all other, uh, with even technical, free technical assistance. So for the first time, the soybean production went up, shot up quadruply. Now, we are all happy. However, the production which is expected to feed both local and industrial demand are being competed by what industry players see are uninvited foreign exporters. For the farmers, they still have the capacity to produce more if only they get the support to continue to expand. <laughs> To Tamale, the soya bean industry is broken down into segments based on the value chain drivers. After the farmers produce, traders, often contracted by aggregators, travel to the villages to buy for the aggregators. The aggregators in turn supply to the factories for processing. Here at the Abuabu market in Tamale, we meet Alhaji Abdul Karim, a soya bean aggregator and supplier for 15 years. They are now competing with foreigners for supply from the farmers. At the moment, 
because the master and the man went to me. You burn all who you say. You turn the man challenges. You need forwardness, ne? You challenges. And the forwardness, no so. I'm a wasuru chair. Because I don't want to know Jemma. You started by year 200. I'm going to say you started to 200, no more to 220, 220. Let's add you on the chair. I'll call the same 220, 220, no more side jump to 240. 240, no, I'm going to say you know, no more to 270. I'm going to say you know, no more to 270. So say at 270, the equation says I'm more to 300, 300. And the time be almost slow. Che, almost so slow. The more one on the message, then to me, yen yen man, at me suppliers company for. And to say there, there bet man yen yen man, yen to me yah. The coin be there fair. So I fold this no more was slow. Che, and to farmers no so I'm more demand or more price no cost slow no sir. No more so I'm yen yen man before this fold this no. The fold this no more so sand yen man in the. They are factors in your company, so you are not man. Because, and net, and no, they do almost free buy, no. So I'm a farmer, the market for the almost buy, and can net, and can you say me net, you buy two hundred bucks. But in a year, two bucks in the other half way. Two, two. For the next normal, you need you not to. Before now. He supplied 400 bags of soya bean every week to his buyers. But in the past few months, he struggles to get that. He had received only two bags from traders, though it was a market day today. I had two months in me. I had 100 kilos, 100 kilos of bags, and I had 400 bags for full attack later. And I had two months in me, I had no more. Yesterday is Bushago market. Bushago Juano, I had 200 bags. A cargo soon between your hundred and that's a one fifty. And to the same week, you know, bet my load. But I never wish a good market to two bucks many years. Then, by the bet man, you had but drew four hundred bucks. Let me do my company. But any forwardness, no entity compare it. Go ten, be almost price will high check. And then, my business are half way there, and they yet deep because we free drum, no one to me, yen a man of Government through the plant for food and jobs has increased the production levels of soya bean in the growing areas. But the impact on the local market cannot be seen. You're gonna hide here, you say, about family, you add the share, a factor, factor, do a say. Babuya factories, small industries in Nina. Well, Mrs. Susu said, Miss Omi, here pass it. For Mrs. Dor promising a nail for ye, what come on mind? Go, Miss Sumi, ye, me de a banichi pa. Go say, I didn't do all the best, so Bama, young boys and girls, and your jobs, no. And the one D, one F, no, so a better my boy, young boys and girls. But said the coin they buy, no, so they sat side in the day. About goods are companies. But say about who say, on bon who say, planting and food, a dear no, a dwelling dos, this a time the soup quite the end of the season. On bon who call for said on basso. Ghana government on year on year no honor or export or import a dwelling, on bon who nipa de on basso. The almost a sign, almost a sunny in an hour, and yes, I be kind. And you say you will be there and any home. Almost the same, no one knows. Al Haji Karim observes foreigners have invaded the local market. He explains how they continuously pressure him to sell to them. Foreigners, na Indians. I'm not more for for the money at the bar at twenty man. Say the only year, no say. I'm a major station yakra. So. We come for the mama, no more teachers, no more money, no more money, man. I'm also better Malaha. I'm more with small agents. Say maybe they meet what Malaha, but me were farmers. Do I'm meet me poor, I'm no more so do. I'm with you, man. I'm better my two man, but I'm on twenty now at the same time. 
because what turning in at the same time, new business be able to get to my discount and to a turn it crack, 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 crack. By the time he or the other man, the other one do about the other man, or who say the price who were from not for for them man who so price cost for the other, but but then not turn us off. So we moved to Yendi to meet other aggregators of the commodity. This area of the market is where shops of soya bean traders and suppliers are located. At this time of the day, the market should be busy. But today, these shops are locked. The traders can't afford to play some games because market is slow. Meet Mohammed Seydou. He has been dealing in soya bean for close to 10 years now. He opens his almost empty shop with only 10 bags of 100 kilos of soya bean that can hold 300 bags. Together with others, they supply close to 1,000 bags every week from this market to factories. At the creator contain 500. 500 aircraft supply two at the creators. As the aircraft supply two at the creators. 500 plus 500 is not 1,000. As the aircraft will supply 1,000. So ordinarily a week, I could have supplied 1,000. As yet, I could have supplied even 2,000. Because you could have supplied four operators a week. It was yesterday that we supplied. I mean, the, the, the one that we supplied self was even not sufficient because we supplied 310 bags. And that, mean, that was mainly for five, five, five of us. I was having 60 bags. As yet, Yara, Isa, Nana, and As yet, Fatima, they were having 250 bags. They added 250, and I'll add my 60 bags. We're making it 310. So that that we supply yesterday. So actually, as we are sitting down, we don't know when we are supplying our next trip because we don't have some in the room again. Me, I've managed to get 10 bags. That is what I just show you for now. So I don't know how it will take, how long it will take me to get even up to the system that are supplying. Pass in the market, we witnessed one of Sadu's suppliers bring him just a bowl of soya bean, which seems to have become the trend. This woman used to sell at least 10 bags for us every week. Now she came with only two booths. That is what she got in the market. He says the foreigners, especially of Indians, have taken over the market. At first, you could, you could have, a week, you could have load at least more than 500 bucks or 1,000 bucks a week. But now they are to get even 300 to supply to your people is difficult. They are selling the things in dollars. Why is we are selling it in cities? So when they came with their dollars, they buy it any amount of money that they want. Maybe they can buy, for instance, they assume we are buying 240 per 100 kg here. They, they, they can buy it 260. So when you send it to a company to sell to them that, that they cannot afford to buy because they have a lot to do there. But then they are, they are Indian people. They have, they are, maybe their money is, they have, has got value more than us. So they can decide to buy any amount or any price they told them. Seido is worried the situation is impacting negatively on their businesses. So, you know, this is uh, April. Something that we're supposed to get shortage of service, something like September going. So that maybe October the new one will start coming. So look at this thing. So also, uh, from uh, April, May, June, July, August, they will, I think there will not be service. That means the companies and other, we and the company, we have to be sitting down because we don't get you have to be sitting down without doing anything. So at this hour, we still we have have more than five store reserve, so that you will be buying in the market here, supplying to them. But that is what we have in the store is what we just brought out and then give it to them. So the stores are now empty. Fatima is one of those aggregators that go to the villages themselves to buy from the farmers through an interpreter. She angrily tells us the company she supplies to has shut down because she and her colleagues are unable to supply. So if there's no, if there's no change of the price, the market, then they will close the company down. Uh, so the Indians, that's the one they come, so they should meet the citizens of the town. They would rather enter to the bush. Listen, as this and there are 4 million. If you are an Indian man, you want to buy it, you buy it 400. And those who are buying it, those who buy it to come and sell it to them. If they buy it 400 and come, how much are they going to sell it? They are selling it to the city. So they are no more getting their sweats. 
So, so if I get four million, what should I say? My goal has two hundred and sixty dollars. So if that government is not that concerned about the business and he, uh, let the Indian people know, then the company will close down. The impact of the supposed influx of foreigners on the local market has resulted in shortage of the soya bean.